gluttony and envy. Hello everybody, I'm GameSify22 and welcome back to more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. In the last video, we took down the last of the Royal Knights, and now all we have left to do is to do the Demon Lords. Now, between this video and the last video, I went ahead and finished filling up my library. As you can see, I had gotten a bunch of Megas, including all of the Royal Knights. Might as well just take this time to go through all of them. I also have made myself an Examon to use, because of its ability to... its support skill to increase evasion. That's going to be important later. But yes, and of course, also, there's a Chaos Gallantmon. Once you're able to Digivolve Gallantmon, you can get Chaos Gallantmon. And let's see what else. Got Grand Locomon, got all those. Now, the thing about when, once you get Leopardmon, you can actually mode change Leopardmon, Leopardmon into his Leopard mode. You could switch back and forth. The stats on both of them are completely different. As you can see. And also the move... Uh, yeah, the moves that move he learns are still the same, though. And what else? Let's see. Ah, yes. I did get myself an Omnimon. I had a spare... While I was leveling, I had a spare... Uh, Wear Gururumon and Metal Greymon that I used to go ahead and make this dude. Then we got those. And here's another Digimon that's new that I also made, a uh, Chaosmon. Uh, the Dark Dramon that I had been using previously, I used an extra Boncho Leomon that I had, and I DNA Digivolved them together into this. Now, this Digimon is probably one of the more stronger ones, but as you can see by its ability, it literally just deals 30% more damage, but takes 30% more damage, and that applies to everybody. So there's that. And I also acquired the burst mode for the other three uh, Data Squad Pro Tags. Shine Greymon Burst Mode, Ravemon Burst Mode, and Rosemon Burst Mode. Which, those weren't too bad. There was just basically some leveling. Some of these Digivolutions required me to do some effort value tweaking. Because, if, even if you get that Digimon to level 99 and they could Digivolve into what you're going for, the stats may not always match, so you do have to go out of your way for that. But, anywho, let's go ahead and start... Let's go ahead and get it going. Today might be a short episode, we'll see. So for now, let's go ahead and tackle the Demon Lord of Gluttony. Like so. So we gotta go talk to Myri. <laughs> I will foretell for you where the whereabouts of the next of the seven deadly Digimon you need to slay. This is what I saw. It seems that one of the seven deadly Digimon called Beelzemon is in Nakano. Destiny will guide you in defeating the seven deadly Digimon. Now, I could tell you right now, I could go into a hard mode and do this fight because this fight is probably one of the easiest in the entire game. If you have... If you have a uh, Jessmon, which I do, and I'm only going to need Jessmon. So let's go around Nakano and see if we can find. See if we can find this jumping point. If you're wondering why the fight is so easy, is it has to do with Beelzemon's ability. You see, Beelzemon's support skill. Drain, he loses 5% of his HP every turn, but he gains a plus 5% increase in attack. Now, I still don't know if this does cap out at 
but I'm I'm under this impression that it probably doesn't. But regardless, it's basically you have to kill him before he attacks kind of fight is what it is. Okay, yeah, it's probably in the cafe then. No? I'm searching everywhere in Nakano and I don't see shit. Oh, here it is. There's a digital space inside. Yep, let's go ahead and go in. And here he is. Beelzemon. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and guard. Four. You basically want to throw down Weltgeist just as he's getting to one, essentially. Because while this is happening, he's basically powering himself up. I'm going to go ahead and start throwing down Weltgeist. And then once he counts down to zero... He maxes out his speed and the turn order becomes unbelievable. And what he'll do is he'll spam double impact and this will kill any Digimon that it hits. But there's another thing on top of that. He like for this boss fight whenever he does double impact he actually heals equal to the amount of HP damage that he deals. So in other words he'll full HP himself every time it's his turn. Now, why is this fight easy? Because, as you can see, if you do Weltgeist to negate damage, every turn, it's Bia And because he's doing zero damage, he's not healing anything. And Beelzemon's support skill reduces his HP by 5% every single turn. And this is pretty much the fight. Nice doing it again. Just to ki just for reference, the de those damage numbers if they weren't zeros would be something you could not fucking comprehend. All right, we're gonna throw down another Weltgeist, and he should probably kill himself during this cycle. I suppose that would probably want to be the one of the would probably be one of the most the biggest positives for having Beelzemon on party is because like he always he always keeps the attack buff refreshed because that's what his skill does. Also, for those of you anime watchers out there, you may also be aware that Beelzemon actually has a mode change. Now, it is in this game, but just like Black Agumon and Black Gabumon, it was only part of the pre-order for this game. So, it's not possible for me to get Beelzemon Blaster Mode. He's almost dead. Yep, this should kill him. Yes, he and, and and of course he can kill himself via his own ability, and that's essentially the fight. The Fang of Gluttony. I defeated the deadly Digimon known as Beelzemon. First off, I should go tell Myrene Seo. All right. So we took care of Beelzemon.
you slain one of the seven deadly Digimon. Alright. That is another one down. So let's go ahead and turn this one in. Alright. Now, who do we go after next? Let's try going after... Let's try going after... Envy. Alright. I'm sitting here thinking how this one's probably gonna go. I do need to reorganize my team, however. This is what I saw. Leviamon is at the Central Hospital. Any advice? Okay. Okay. And, uh, his magic is weak, but he can counterattack while you use magic. So make sure you get your timing right. You can't borrow the strength of, the, of a champion to win this. So do your best. Okay, let's go ahead and put people in. As far as I recall, Leviamon is Leviamon is actually a a virus. So if I I could bring vaccines with me to help even the playing field. Seven. Let's see. Ah yes. Also, here in the bank. I can digivolve an Inframon to get Beelzemon. Like so. Cool. Now, okay, I need to see. I want to take Mush. I want to take Lilith. Um, I guess I'll have Examon on me. Don't know if that would be a smart move, but... And we'll take Cherubimon. Alright. Uh, oh, we need Old Force Vidramon. Duh. We need to be able to go first. We need that initiative. Okay. So, it's a Digimon that counters magic attacks. So, that would imply that we would need to focus on physical attacks, which... These guys can do that, essentially. Alright, let's go ahead and do that, and let's head to the hospital. Alright, there's a vending machine that's lit up over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and save for safety. And let's jump in. The Demon Lord of Envy, Leviamon. Okay. Let's see, how are we gonna go about this? We need to see what he can do first off. Tanky. All right then. Maybe I should have brought Ho Oman with me.
I am worried. Resting. Okay, I think I need to get, uh... I think Status Barrier can help prevent instant death. So, that might be our... Let's see... How much HP does this dude have? Times four. It's got a little over... A little over 6,000. Okay. Hmm. I doubt he's vulnerable to poison, but probably... Yeah. I didn't put uh, acceleration boost on Omnimon, damn it. Okay, status barrier. All right, let's see what Chaos Mon will be able to do. Damage tends to fluctuate. I think boosting attack would be a greater priority. Let's see here. Bianto Blade and Transcendent Sword. That was cool. Let's keep buffing the attack. I'll have Marine Angemon go for a heal. He hits like a goddamn truck, though. Might as well start refreshing the status barrier. God damn it. The damage of that is really absurd. But yes, yeah, status barrier stops the instant death. That's good. I am worried. Resting. Okay. Starting up again. Pop a DX capsule on Chaos Mon. You notice that Chaos Mon's colors had changed. That mainly has to do with the fact that since he was knocked down, I think his uh Nah, his attack is still high. I've never really understood what that ch color change is was supposed to signify. It almost looks like a bug, but I'm pretty sure that that's intentional. But regardless.
He's going for the Biting Crushes again? That's the third one. Okay. I am worried. Okay. Starting up again. Whoa, he's going for it again? Jesus. I am worried. Mirror reflection. Like track to be immune to that. Um, I'm wondering. I think it's that the thing about Leviathan is that whenever he attacks, he just has a chance of instant killing a Digimon that's higher than normal. So what if I do attack him with magic? Let's find out what happens. Okay, well he's going for this. Yeah, without Status Barrier, that's an instant knockout. Get up. Rest sane. Resting. Now it's like he's in a longer rest phase. Well, this is my chance to hit him. Supreme Cannon ignores intelligence, so... Of course that would do the most damage. Okay, now he's resting a lot. Starting up again. Okay, there we go. I just need a defense penetrating move, and that's all I ever needed. Scales of Envy. Damn, just need to be more wary of instant death effects like that. Holy hell. The Phoenix Mon wasn't mandatory for some of these fights. I wouldn't even know what the hell. Alright, so let's just go ahead and heal everybody up. Well, let's talk to Myri first. You have slain him. Congrats. Please continue. All right. Okay. Now we can turn this one in. And get ourselves a Leviathan. I want to take another hard look at what its ability is. I should have something in my digibank that could be able to get to, that should be able to get to it. Here we go, the Shogun Gekumon. Increases damage done to targets by 15% if they're mega or above. Okay. 
15% chance of instant killing target. I'm pretty sure during the boss fight, it's like, it's like guaranteed. Yeah, he's he seems to be a bit more defensive heavy, it seems. Granted, he has an attachment on him, but still. There we go, that's Leviamon. And that is also going to be the end of this video. So, we have only three demon lords left to take care of. So I hope you guys look forward to seeing what they can do. Because I don't remember that well, so it's going to be fun. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you like this series and you want to keep up with it, you can hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified whenever my channel uploads. I appreciate all the support and love that you guys give me. It means a lot. So join the Fox Army, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.